This is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some new improvements we've made to the zero state of analysis workspace. Uh, we refer to the zero state as the initial way that workspace opens up, kind of the first things that you see before you start building a project. So the first things that we've changed are um, around the left rail. Uh, we've lightened the far left icon uh, rail to a lighter gray to help call attention to the three options we have here for panels, visualizations, and components. We've also added some new green badges to illustrate when there's a new visualization that has been added. So if you see here we have uh, a little one that indicates there's one new visualization in the visualization menu now. We also have a new tag next to that and this is highlighting the new map viz that we've added for this fall release. So we wanted to add this in here to call attention to some of the things that are being added into Workspace. They're not always super discoverable. Um, we want to make sure that everybody knows that Workspace is cl closing the gaps that we have with some of our other products um, each and every release. So the next thing that I wanted to highlight is the new blank panel. So if you've used a blank panel before, um, you, can, you know that you can drag it over from here or when you exit out of the, the freeform table that's in a project and you have a blank project, the blank panel will populate. Today the blank panel says there's nothing here, please add a freeform table and it doesn't really give you much, much else um, option from there. So what we've done instead is we've brought over some of the main visualization options that you can start building from to highlight again that those are available to you and give you a, an easier way to jump into your analysis. So we've added in freeform tables, our customer journey visualizations of fallout and flow, cohort tables, histograms, Venn visualizations, and the new map viz as well. And each one you can highlight over and get a little bit more information about what that viz is. Um, if you prefer to start your workspace project from this view rather than a freeform table every time, you can also check this box. And the next time you come into Analysis Workspace, you'll see this view instead of a freeform table. So another thing that we have updated is the freeform table itself. So when you first see a freeform table, you'll now see that the, the uh, middle here is an animated GIF that illustrates the left rail, rail paradigm of Analysis Workspace. So novice users that are landed in Analysis Workspace aren't always clear that there is kind of a drag and drop paradigm where you have to bring something over from the left rail to the, the middle section. So we really wanted to illustrate this for some of those beginner users and help them get started a lot quicker when they land within a new project. Um, the last thing I'll highlight is that we've improved the drop zones as well. Uh, drop zones are things like uh, drop a dimension here, drop a metric here, drop a segment here. Today those all say drop data here. Um, we wanted to again help the more novice user um, understand what components go where in Workspace. Although you can truly drag anything anywhere, um, there's typical components that go in certain spots of the freeform. So in the middle, typically you drop a dimension, the columns you typically drop metrics, and up at the panel level you, you typically drop a segment. Um, so we wanted to put emphasis on those components, but also illustrate that you can drop any other component type as well. So we hope you guys enjoy these new uh, zero state improvements and, and get a lot of use out of them and hopefully this also helps the more novice users get started in workspace a lot more quickly.